Trump loving lawyer, Len Wood increased, I guess you would call it his attacks against Marjorie Taylor Greene this past week, where he said that Marjorie Taylor Greene, in addition to, you know, being possibly a deep state operative of some kind, uh, is also being controlled by the devil. That is right. Apparently the devil did in fact go down to Georgia and took control of Marjorie Taylor Greene. Now it's unclear when this happened. Of course. I mean, Marjorie Taylor Greene has been making waves since before she was even elected. So I guess the devil was running the long game here and may have gotten a hold of Greene, you know, back in 2017, maybe even 2016. Who knows? You know, Lynn Wood certainly doesn't give us a timetable. So, you know, it's just up to speculation about when she one became controlled by the devil and two, uh, became a member of the so-called deep state. But that is the latest in this feud. And of course, Lynn Wood also claims that Marjorie Taylor Greene owes him money for legal services. Uh, and I, we discussed that a couple weeks ago and he actually has a pretty good case for that. Marjorie Taylor Greene, of course, has been attacking Lynn Wood, as has Sidney Powell. Wood is effectively left with absolutely no allies whatsoever. And he's facing, you know, some pretty serious allegations or accusations, I should say, uh, from other folks saying that he was swindling them, you know, basically taking money from the Rittenhouse Defense Fund and all kinds of stuff. It's a horrible situation because all of the crazies have turned against one another. Who would have thought in a million years that all these attention seeking hacks would eventually have to turn on one another? I'm being sarcastic, obviously, because this was absolutely what was destined to happen. All of these people want the spotlight, right? And for a while they were all able to get it, but the public's kind of moved on a little bit. Stories have died down every now and then, you know, well, every now and then several times a week, one of them says or does something crazy or stupid or both. And so people talk about it, but then the next one has to come out and they got to be even crazier and stupider than that. And it is this fight between people like Lynn Wood and Sidney Powell and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Boebert and Matt Gates and all these other idiots. They've got to be the most crazy and outlandish and outrageous people out there in order to continue their little 15 minutes of fame. And I think that is what Lynn Wood is doing here. Because in addition to telling the Daily Beast that she's controlled by the devil, possibly a deep state operative, he also says he may just go ahead and sue her for defamation. He says, uh, they know what they did. They lied like dogs about me. Uh, Green has falsely defamed me. How? About the whole money situation? About you maybe taking money out of those legal defense funds? I would think that's something you could easily prove didn't happen. So if she's accusing you of these things, and you want to file a defamation suit, of course, the burden of proof is on you at that point. If you didn't take money, there's records showing that you didn't take the money. You can show what it was spent on, right? So go ahead and file your defamation lawsuit. Uh, that seems like a pretty easy one. You're a lawyer. I'm not. And even I know how you would be able to prove, or of course not prove that it did or didn't happen. So what are you waiting for? Wood has also said he may sue some folks at Fox news, including Tucker Carlson. Again, go for it. I got no problem with that. I have no problem with the crazies fighting amongst each other because all it does is garner more headlines and showcases how nuts. So these people truly are. So please continue the fighting. Not only are we entertained by it, but it's reminding everybody about how crazy the Republican party has become today.